money? Took you long enough. The money now! Stab me. What? Stab me? What do you want about? For fuck's sake, will you just stab me? What, are you mental or something? Just a little bit. Stab me. What are you doing? Having a fag. Can... Can I find? Fucking ouch, man. And you just put a knife in my throat, you can get the fuck over yourself. <laughs> You'd want to be careful or else... Or else what? You stabbed me? I fucking asked you two seconds ago and you said no. I didn't say no. I just... Haven't done it yet. Well, do you plan on doing it any time tonight? Sunshine, the suspense is fucking killing me. I mean, that's the point of this little operation, isn't it? I hand over the money, or you paint the pavement red to put a romantic spin on grim business. Oh, I don't get cheeky with me, dickhead. Do you think you're a brave man making a stand with a knife put to you? No, man, I don't think I'm a complete fucking pussy. What the fuck are you on about? I'm letting you do it so I don't have to do it myself when I get home. Trouble for you. Put the knife away, follow my lead, and then we'll have a chat. Act upset. Come on now, chin up, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Lifting all right there, lads. I can see where you came over, alright. Lad noise coming from this direction. You'll be alright for a second, bud. Right, no guys, I'm, I'm sorry about the noise. My, my mate's missus just broke up with him. Two years, same apartment and all, he's just he's fucking heartbroken. That fuck would be alright, fella. Try my life in above ground, that's half the battle. <laughs> my father used to always say that. One, two. Look, boys, this is a residential area. You can't be shouting around. I know things are tough, but everyone else's lives are still going on. Just try to keep it down, yeah? Well, of course, and then I'm sorry again. Listen, uh, do you have some place to stay tonight? Ah, oh, fuck it, Josh. You can stay with me as long as he needs it. You have a good friend there. Hang on to him. I will. Thanks. Listen, things will get better. Come on. Still got this one. Alright, fuck off, so. I'm only trying not to waste your fags, prick. Wasting my fucking time, we're like, now sit down, will ya? I'm getting vertigo looking at you, and munchkin as is. Hey, I'm five foot seven. And I am not threatened by that, sit down. Why'd you cover for me? Why do you mug people? Why'd you cover for me? Why do you mug people? Why'd you cover for me? Why do you mug people? Why do you do this like? I've known you for like, what? Three minutes. And this is the second one of these roundabout conversations we've had. 
Well, I'm sorry you chose me at random and you don't like my patterns of speech. You roll the dice, you win some, you lose some. If this had been a successful mugging, I'd have handed over the money straight away. Double sixes. But no. Now you're stuck with me. Shit roll. I'm Snake Eyes. Your name is Snake Eyes. You know, for the sake of this conversation, you can call me Snake Eyes. <laughs> Sounds spasticated. Yeah, but you talk spasticated, so I guess it evens out, doesn't it? Ying and yang. What the fuck are you talking about? Nothing. Hi, my name's Snake Eyes. What's yours? I'm not telling you my name. Why not? Uh, because I just tried to fucking mug you, that's why not. Ah, come on, I told you my name. Your name isn't Snake Eyes. Technicalities. What's your problem, boy? Would you like a key of cocaine? <sighs> oh, so that's why you covered. You would have been in just as much trouble as me. Don't be joking. If the guards had taken one look at me and one look at you, the cards would definitely be in my favour. I'd have turned on the waterworks myself and cried, Oh no, the scumbag's got a knife. He's trying to rob me. Run away. And I would be walking away a happy man, while you, my friend, would be walking away in handcuffs with the same face like a bag of chisels. That was a lovely performance, by the way. Oscar worthy even. Good actor, or were you under pressure? Piss off. He repeats, line of cocaine? It's a key. He repeats, key of cocaine? Nah. I quit. Oh, good for you. So is life boring now, or...? Life is shit with or without. At least I don't wake up crying at half four in the morning anymore. Oh yeah, you look like you do. Yeah. I do. <laughs> so was uh, that the trouble with the guards? Fuck you, stop asking so many questions. What, like, do you have many convictions? Do I look like I have many convictions? Yes, you look like you have many convictions. Yeah, you see? Goes with the territory. So why do you mug people? What did I say about all the questions? Why do you mug people? I don't, usually. Oh yeah, that's what they all say. What they all say? You know, films, TV shows, magnificent works of literature. Yeah, well, this is real life, by, and I actually don't usually do this. You're a bit in the autistic side when it comes to sarcasm, no? You're a bit of a prick, do you know that? Probably the best compliment I got all day. Can we go back to you killing yourself? That sounded way harsher than I meant. Can we go back to when you said you were going to kill yourself? No, actually, we can't go back to when I said I was going to kill myself because I never did say I was going to kill myself. I was, however, though, asking you to stab me so I wouldn't have to kill myself when I got home. Is that not the same thing? Are they not different things? You are so confusing. Yeah, and speaking of confused, I'm confused as to how a fella gets to your point. Where he actually goes out and mugs strangers. I mean, like, there's so much else you could be doing with your time. Yeah, and if you kill yourself, you won't have any time to do anything. Point blank, done, end of story. How were you going to kill yourself? Good old fashioned hanging. The dignified way. I mean, these fucking cunts bringing a toaster into the bathtub, what, what are they doing with their lives? Or... Deaths. There's no ceremony to that. Ceremony? You don't think there's anything peaceful about the thought of tying a noose? Loading a gun? I don't know. Must just be me, so. I get you, though. So why do you mong people? Well, me. You see, I'm choosing to believe you about the fact that you don't do this often. Sorry, it's the coke. Answer. I owe a lot of money. Drugs. Drugs. We've all been there. Yep. 
drugs, a woman, a baby, and a fucking muppet. A baby? Yours? Hers. Raised it like mine for two years. She packed up for Australia last year. Owes me four grand. The prick I owe money to is due out of jail any day now, so here I am, counting the days till I get my legs broken with a fucking baseball bat. Oh, a cricket bat now. That would be old school. Silver linings and all that. Yeah, and after that it'd be a fucking musket or something. <laughs> you should have come out with a musket, I'd have fucking shot him. <laughs> Do you want one? Yeah, sure. Sound. Try. I've an idea. Shoot? So you are going to kill yourself when you go home? That was the plan, yeah. And I can't change your mind. For fuck's sake, no. Like, well, I am it. What's your money situation like? I'm sorry, my what? Your money situation. How much in your wallet and on your cards? I don't know. A couple hundred quid or so, maybe? Right. So, like, you're not exactly going to need that, are you? So, like, why don't you just give that to me and that way we can both go our separate ways? Sorry, boy, couldn't do it. Why not? Basic principle, couldn't do it. What? I can't just give you the money now, can I? Why not? Um, because you tried to fucking mug me, maybe. So what are you going to do with it? Not fucking give it to you, that's what I'm going to do with it. Look, you can't just go around casually robbing people, all right? That shit doesn't fly. You don't even fucking know me, man. Piss off, I don't know you. I know you're tight, and believe me, you're a dime a dozen. You think you're so funny, don't you? I think I'm hilarious compared to the fella who comes out with, Come here, give me all your money, and you can go along your merry way and kill yourself. Good night, good luck, God bless, and Merry Christmas. Hey, hey. No sit down, party, is it? What's the story, lad? Sit down. Jeez, are we interrupting something? You're very serious, aren't you? Very intimate. Although I think that, that would look a little bit better. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Fucking... <laughs> give that back to me, no, fucking... No, no, man, no. seriously, just give me back the fucking hat. Give me back the fucking hat. Calm it, calm it. Fucking dick. Calm it, calm it, calm it, calm it, alright? Look, lads, just walk on, alright? Just walk on. I know you, boy. So what, boy? Fucking everyone knows me, kid. So what? Going back. I don't think it's fair to say I was going to send you on your merry way and kill yourself. Yeah, well, you might as well have. Come on, man. I'm trying to help you, but every time I do, you go psycho. I mean, do you want help or don't you? Do you know what, man? I don't know. Okay, I don't fucking know, all right? I haven't got the faintest fucking clue, all right? I'm a walking, talking contradiction of language, mental illness, shitty. Sorry for taking that out on you. It's grand. It isn't really though, is it? Nah, it is. I mean everything. Nah. My name's Declan. Declan Cole. John Snake Eyes Griffin. I don't want to mug people. I do want to die. 
fight. Honestly. Couldn't tell you. It's hard enough, isn't it? That's what I've been thinking for years now. And suicidal isn't what people think it is. <laughs> At least not to me. You know, some people can take the bed for a week and have it out, but for me it's different. It's just like day to day. Like, in bed all day, every day. No, man, the complete opposite. Like, I'd just be sitting with my friends, or the family who I love, having a great time. And then Mr. Brain kicks in, and he's like, Oh, John, this is a good time, man. This is really nice. You know what else would be nice? Killing yourself. Death. That'd be class. Declan, why won't that voice fuck off? Have you seen doctors? Oh, fuck. Load, man. Since I was 15, what they spent the first three years telling you it's exam pressure and then they just pawn you off. Like most recently, they told me I might have bipolar disorder, but here, have these tablets and if they work, that's what's wrong. Not telling you that these tablets knock you the fuck out for 12 hours out of the day and the rest of the time you're walking around like something out of Night of the Living Dead. Nope, see you in four months on your bike. Jesus, that's fucked. Whole place is backwards, man. Is it bipolar? I don't know. I had a job at the time, and like I said, I was a fucking zombie. I just couldn't function inside there anymore, and I walked away in frustration. Lost my fucking mind, to be totally honest with you. And what about when you went back? I told them I needed help. I told him that I couldn't take these tablets, hold down a job and, you know, have a life at the same time. And they just told me that I had to take them. And I said, surely it makes more sense to actually do the work first and figure out what's wrong instead of just chancing around with different tablets. But then they gave me the whole, we're the medical professionals bullshit. And I just gave up after that. 20 minutes every four months. Fuck that. Do you not think you should get some sort of, like, diagnosis or something? I don't know what it help. I mean, now at least there's, like, this small chance of it being, like, a phase or something, but I think if there was a label on it, I'd, I'd panic. You're stuck with it then. And what about the coke? Does that not make it worse? Ah, yeah, well, <laughs> never fucking helps, does it? I never asked you, actually. Do you have any convictions? No. Skin of my teeth, I'm really lucky I was never caught with anything. That would probably disappoint my parents more than me killing myself. But would your family not miss you? Or your friends? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they would. Would you not feel guilty for hurting them? Why do you think I fucking asked you to stab me, Declan? That's the only thing that stopped me this whole time. I spent years fucking miserable for other people's sake. And well, now they can be miserable for a while and then life goes on, as it always does. John. No, man, alright? Fuck them, okay? Fuck them. People always tell me I've got to put myself first and... Now I finally am. Maybe I should just do it too, so then. I'm sick to the teeth of being miserable, like. I should never talk to killing myself. Don't start now, Declan boy. If you don't have that thought in your mind, why force it? It's shit. Trust me. What will I do then? Well, you can stop fucking mugging people for a start, they're right, you're too nice for that crack. <laughs> Maybe I could start stripping. Oh yeah, I'm sure the general population would spend huge money to see your giant tits, you mug. Are you calling me a mug or are you making a statement? You mug. Both. <laughs> Oh.
Do you know your bank account details? Throw my phone. Get him up. What are you doing? Get him up. What are you Stop doing? Fucking this again. Get him up. Oh, the same bank. Sweet. What? I am transferring you six thousand and eighty-two euro forty-seven cent. You're doing what now? Like you said, I'm not going to need it. You said you only had a couple of hundred quid. Yeah, I lied. You could sue me for all I've got, but you've already got it, so it would be a total waste of time and not to mention money on solicitor's fees. So why don't you just shut the hell up and take it? John, I can't. You fucking can. And you fucking will. All right? Mind yourself, will ya? You too. Don't mind me. I'll just be hanging around. Hey, John. Thanks. What are you thanking me for? This is our first successful mugging. It's snake eyes to you. Or double sixes. <laughs> or double sixes. Boys, would you look here with this? <laughs> Little dicky, huh? Little fucking dicky, more like. You're crying, you fucking muppet. Troy, I had for what? I had for Great. What's your hand of all my stones? It's in the bank. All of it fucking gone. Go away. Well, we'll just arrange a little meeting in the morning then. Would that do you? Yeah, please, Troy, please. I look like a fucking mole. Do I? No, Troy, you don't look like a mole. I must do. Because I gave you off here, and in the morning, you'll be on the first flight to Australia! Ah! Huh? Ah! The fuck? What's wrong with you with that little cunt girlfriend of yours? Do you fucking like that, do you? I bet he fucking does. Fucking bingo, make that. I'd say he does all right. What am I going to do with you, then, huh? Um, excuse me, boys, is there a fucking problem here or something? And who the fuck are you? Double sixes is my name, boy. And double sixes is one to mind his own fucking business before he ends up getting a little accident for himself. <laughs> Look at me, I'm shaking. You have some neck. Do that. So I've been told. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, you shoot, <laughs> Chris, check this fucking lunatic pocket. Oh, you heard the fucking man, turn him out. Fuck off. Better men than he had tried this before. Better man than you have tried this tonight, actually. Just do as he fucking says, man. Do you think I'm afraid of two lackeys? Fuck off! Oh, you Here. <coughs> You'd want to pay my boys a bit more respect, pal. Now empty your fucking pockets. Look, man, he's got all the money you're looking for. Let him go to the bank, take it out, and then I'll just be fucking done with it. Excuse you? I said he's got all no, the money you're looking for. I heard you fucking said, pal. Now, who said anything about money before you arrived? Exactly. Fucking no one. Who do you think you are? You think you're smart, do you? No! 
I think I'm very smart, boy. Top of my fucking class. How many times were you held back? I'll fucking kill you. Good! Speeding down Pope's Key, current location unknown. Over. Roger. Request logged. Report back. What happened? Control to save time. Send over a state pathologist. Over. Roger. Call to be released imminently. Support is on to your location. Yeah, Alright. We're here if you need us. There's an ambulance on the way. We need to ask you a couple of questions when you're up here. in a second, okay? Gary? Gary? Yeah? Is it okay? The cocaine in his pocket? It's not his. It's mine. Thanks for letting us know. 